ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Over the Potato, and this is probably just about the chillest game that you can have with trains in the entire universe. Um, if you remember back to when you were a, a young child, you may have indeed played with uh, with with these with these like little model trains and these wooden tracks. That is what this game is all about. You basically build, uh, you build tracks in a sandbox environment. At least we're in a sandbox environment at the moment. You can get, uh, you can get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more structured in a little bit. But you build these sandbox environments. You can hop into the train. You can, uh, you can stick the train on a little, on a little route around here. And then you can marvel your creation and build up a whole little world around the tracks that you've built. Uh, it's a lovely little sandbox environment. It really, really is. There's a whole bunch of um, uh, different uh, different bits and bobs. Whoop, that's the train just disappeared off into nothingness there. There we go. Let's bring it to a bring it to a stop by placing a, a model house. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of different things that we can change here. Uh, we can change the theming of the train to a to a gingerbread train there. Turn the whistle off. Uh, change the sky color. Yeah, sure. We can make it a little bit more atmospheric, a little bit more, a little bit more moody. How about that? There we go. That sounds that sounds pretty good. Weather is sunny. Let's stick some snow on. You know, it's it's feeling a little bit wintry outside, and uh, and therefore I feel like we should have a little bit of a little bit of snow. Anyway, it's it's gorgeous. It's lovely. This is just sort of the little introduction. Uh, to the game. I, I just really wanted to showcase this game because it's uh, it's fantastic. It's uh, it's really really great Anyway, let's go into the levels now We have the opportunity to play through uh, a whole bunch of different levels here now Some of the levels are just purely free play mode like the environment that we're in at the moment. We're in the clear environments However, I think that we're gonna give the passenger uh, the passenger mode uh, a little bit of a crack the reason being is that when you have passengers you have to uh, there we go I'll reset the progress because I just uh, I tested it out earlier um you have to you have to find passengers and you have to deliver them to their to their destination passengers will appear around the room open the toy box and drop a platform close to where they are waiting excellent wonderful 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 so we're playing in the environment of a modern apartment here which is rather lovely. Rather lovely indeed. We got a station over there on the sofa. Wonderful. Pretty happy with that. So, I mean, where do we where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? We probably want to go directly directly across. Uh, we've got like a little uh, a little loop that we can that we can come back on here. So we probably want to just go straight this way let's keep uh, let's keep bringing it out keep bringing it out uh, now before we get too close let's actually let's not adjust the height I don't want to do that let's actually go into the scenery here and we will plop down we will plop down a station we'll move that around I think if I plop it down on top of the passengers they're not going to complain too much you can see the area of effect of the of the station there and then we can just go back to building to building our track. There is no limitation on what we can do, what we should do, but I'm just going to continue to go roundabout like here. Let's see if we can try and come in. I'll take the track down because I think that we need to we need to lower the level. Uh, one more straightforward around here. Excellent. Cool. And then let's see if we can climb up above the armrest. Brilliant. Perfect height, really. Ah. Now that might be a little bit of a little bit of a pain in the backside to get to, actually. Oh, uh, or will it? Nope, we're gonna absolutely nail that one. Excellent, cracking. Okay, let's get the let's get the train on the go, eh? Let's get the train on the go. Good. There we go, and. Yeah, steady on, and we'll do a nice handbrake turn just at the end here, and then slow it down to max. What do you know? All of our little Peabody people are entering onto the carriages now, which is pretty wonderful. I wonder if there's a way that I can, if I can automate this. I'm pretty sure that there there is a way. 
because the train will just continue around, but I don't think it's going to stop at the station unless I do something about it. Yeah, it's just going to blow right past the, uh, right past the station. Is there, like, a train menu? Train mode, increase speed, handbrake. I don't think that there's a way to... I don't think there's a way to automate that. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back into the train. Handbrake, stop. Reverse down to the station. That's right. A little bit of whistle just for the... Just for the attention that I so crave. Uh, and then we will... Handbrake right here. Booyah. What do you know? We've delivered all of our passengers. Wonderful. Okay, so that is plane passengers. Plane passengers need to go to this uh, to this station. A new set of passengers have arrived. Find them and bring them back to the station on the sofa. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's start the let's start the engines up on this train because I kind of like having the train just sort of like diddling around in the background. It's kind of a nice vibe, you know. It's kind of a nice vibe. Right. Uh, where am I? I'm over here at the moment. Don't worry about me. go. Let that go past there before I make any sudden changes. Excuse me? Thank you very much. Uh, right. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. Let's not, let's not do that. Let's not do that at all. I would like to, yeah, there we go. Free that. Okay, so passengers seem to be over here. What do we got over here? We got a couple of windows. We got a table. We got a, I don't know, the cabinet sort of thing. Either way, I don't think that that should be too difficult at all. Yeah, let's throw that down right over yonder. There we go. And then I guess we can just go into... Excuse me? <laughs> we got rid of the... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. <laughs> it's a disaster. How do we reset the train? How do we reset the train? Please, please tell me that I haven't, uh, that I haven't messed it up. How do we reset the train? Reset train. N. Excellent. Oh, thank goodness. I, I was worried for a second there. Very concerning. Okay, let's, let's see if we can try and beat the train to the punch here. So we will get a new fork. Okay, you know, we can phase through the radiator a little bit. That's cool. Ah, bring it back. Up a level. Up a level. Sure, we can phase through the kitchen cabinet a little bit. And then let's just see if we can try and rejoin right over here. Now, uh, we should probably talk about junctions. Junctions are pretty important. Whoops. Accidentally, if you click C on a bit of track, then it will just delete it. Uh, did you not manage to get up through here? Is that the problem? I feel like that might be the problem. That's okay, that's okay. We can manipulate physics a little bit. That's okay. All right, throw that in there. Wonderful. Let's uh, let's reverse a smidgen and then we'll just take another punt at this, shall we? There we go. And accelerate. Accelerate at a million miles an hour. Thankfully, physics don't really seem to matter here go. There we go. Get a get a nice little whistle. Nice little whistle on. And then we will punt you off to the other side of the room and we'll just sort of let that happen. No 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 not again. Not again. Oh no. How did it disappear into nothingness again? Oh, that's that's such a disaster. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Uh, right. What was train reset? Train reset. Uh, train reset was was N. Fine. Fine. Reset the train. Do we still have all the passengers on? Where did it go? Where did the where did the train go? Are we not allowed to reset it when when there's passengers? There we go. Okay, all right. That's that's it fixed. Let's do this. Let's actually drive it. So um, the junction is currently set so that I actually go straight ahead. But if I hold the uh, the key over here, the D key, then I can actually turn the train 
down any lane that I want. Now, of course, the real strength of this game comes from when you're actually building a sandbox environment. I mean, it doesn't cater too well to... Ah, blue past it a little bit, but that's okay. We can go back. Uh, it doesn't cater too well, I don't think, to having actual aims and objectives, such as delivering passengers. I think you really just want to... You just want the excuse, really, to build a, a massive setup and just have... And just have uh, and just have trains running around and, and whatnot. But I mean, I like the idea of having some sort of a name, uh, and that aim is to deliver deliver passengers. Excuse me, why are these people not uh, disembarking? You want to get off? You want to get off the the train here? There you go. Excellent. Wonderful. Two more happy customers. Easy peasy. A set of business passengers are waiting on the dining table. These must be taken to the business station within the time limit. Uh oh. Okay. 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 Uh, right. We gotta. We gotta act. We gotta act fast. We gotta act fast. This is. Uh, this is concerning. A business station. You can't add stations when playing passenger mode. Uh, right. Well, will they get onto the normal platform? They will indeed. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's. How did this bit end up breaking? Uh, probably because I keep right-clicking. When you right-click, it deletes uh, it deletes track. Okay, so we gotta we gotta take another fork. We gotta take another fork off here. It's... Okay, we want to go up, up, up as much as we possibly can. No, just keep on keep on climbing, and then we can always come down as long as we don't hit the back of this chair, right? There we go. Okay, forward. Down, down, down. Good stuff. And then we can just bring it round the back of this station. And pelt it down till we get to the business platform. Right, this is gonna take this is gonna take some doing. Okay, and then let's join that back up there. Cool. Okay, go into train mode. Let's let's pelt it round. I probably should. I probably should have been. Uh, having the train already in motion, but that's fine. Okay, so the train is en route now. If we go and have a little look at this junction, this gives me the opportunity to, to show you how the junctions work. So at the moment, that junction is set to just send the train forward, uh, but we can click on it and change it to go uh, another direction by default here. Okay, let's start slowing down. There we go, and put the brakes on here. No, 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 put the brakes on too early there, potato. That was daft. Move a little bit further forward. Okay, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Okay, distinguished dignitaries, please hurry your measly behinds onto my train. It's very, very important that we get you to where you need to go, and we only have 28 seconds to do so. There we go. Man, I love that feature. I love that feature. That's that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay, make sure that we're not going too, 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 too darn fast here. We don't want to overshoot. Oh, nailed it. Perfect delivery. Perfect delivery. Everyone gets off. No, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. The train did did roll back a little bit, but it looks like everyone managed to jump out of the way before <laughs> before the, the catastrophe happened. Excellent. Okay. Have we got any other passengers? If so, where are they? Yeah, we got 15 plane passengers to find. And I ain't got intel on where they are. Ah, oh look at this. A multi a multi-layered station is is coming right up. Uh, this is going to be this is going to be a bit of a challenge one. A uh, challenging one. Uh yeah, sure. So, passenger station needs to go I mean, to be honest, do we have the opportunity to build anything else out? I mean, can we put like a grass block down here for example? You know what we actually can? Let's put some grass blocks down, sure. I mean, you know, we're maybe littering the living room, but whatever, whatever. Right, we don't need to worry too, too much about about the time limit, which is kind of nice. We can also place some houses down. If I place this down here, will people be able to walk to it? I don't actually think so. Yeah, don't actually think so because of the elevation difference. Slightly problematic, that. Okay, so that does work. Where do we want to take the branch from? Again, I feel like we need to take the branch from somewhere over here. 
Alternatively, here's an idea, here's an idea, here's an idea. Why don't we see if we can do some fancy shenanigans over in this vicinity? So there, and we come down. Yeah, let's not let's not mess around with physics too much. Physics is a is a cruel mistress. Cool. Okay, I actually really like that. Uh Yeah, so let's go up. Let's go up and then let's do that. Excellent. Okay, so we can do we can do some fancy schmancy pieces right in right in there like that. However, yeah, we need to make sure that by default, the train does not go straight off the end here. Otherwise, I mean, what is the point of that? Uh, but if we do this, then it means that we're able to get this special type of curve, which is, uh, which is kind of nice. All right, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. Where are we at the moment? We're at the business platform. Uh, I've also just realized that the business platform doesn't have a connection here. So that would be somewhat of an embarrassment. Is this on the same level? It is on the same level. Cool. All right. Business platform is absolutely categorically connected up. What about... What about creating a route? Yeah, what about creating a route over there like that? So that would actually allow us to get from where we currently are to where we want to go. Toot toot, let's go. Let's do this. Okay. So by default, we're going to get pushed down this lane over here. And you see how this is just super chill. Apart from those business customers, which were a little bit needy. Uh, so we want to hold left. Then we want to hold right. And then we want to hold left again. No, right again. And then we want to come down this area. We want to put the handbrake on. Please, everyone. Okay, we're going to need to move forward a little bit because... Uh, on you get, on you get, chip chop. Cool. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, it's a little bit of a messy network, but you know we've got a good, we got a good coverage. We got a good coverage of, uh, of pretty much everywhere. All right, there we go. Accelerator all the way up. There we go. And you should see some of the creations that some people are able to make. I mean, obviously, I am completely unqualified when it comes to when it comes to discussing art or anything of beauty. Ah, there we go. Nailed it. Uh, brilliant. All 15 plain customers. I have a feeling that we're going to see business customers come along in just a second as well. Okay, business customers, they did indeed, they did indeed appear. Where are they? Where are they? Where are the business customers? Where the heck are the business customers? They're not on the floor, are they? Not not under there? Uh oh, business customers. And normal customers. Oh, it's the worst, it's the worst type of it's the worst type of event here. Okay, uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to do this, you know? There we go. Throw that in there. Straight ahead. Straight up. We gotta go, we gotta come up as fast as we can. It's really difficult to see with this perspective here. Oh boy, that's not even close, is it? That's not even close to the the type of elevation that we need. Okay, we gotta come out to the left and we gotta go up. Up, up, up. It's actually pretty spot on. Nice. Cool, keep coming over the edge here. Nice, down. Right, this is a this is a train network from hell, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it. Nope, back. Nope. There we go. Excellent. Pretty much nailed that, actually. Okay, business passengers. Let's freaking go. All right, slight problem. Can't really remember which way I'm supposed to turn up here. I'm supposed to go straight. Wonderful. This is almost certainly gonna give you some sort of verticality uh, disorder, like vertigo. Stop. Stop. There we go. Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. We got 17 seconds. I mean, that's a tough... That's a tough gig. That's a tough gig. Go, 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 go. Um, straight, 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 straight. Straight, straight, straight. I have a funny feeling that we're not gonna be able to do this. Uh, 
Ah. Oh, that was so close. That was so freaking close. We got the business passengers to where they needed to go. But it wasn't it wasn't within the time limit. Do I get do I get penalized for such an event occurring? I hope not. Either way, I can I can drive the plane passengers to their destination quite uh, quite easily now. All right. Wonderful. Back down here. Back down here. I tell you what, we'll take the uh Okay, I guess this is actually a more direct, a more direct route. I was going to say we're going to take the shortcut down to the to the underside of the TV cabinet, but that's actually a lie. We're going to come up this way. Now the train is kind of backwards, but I guess that doesn't particularly matter. Also, we just completely overshot the the station, but that's okay. It's, it's only plane passengers. We don't need to worry about uh, about anything too too much. There we go. Couple of couple of notches of the whistle just to make me feel a little bit better couple more cheeky notches. Wonderful. All right, please disembark safely. Keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Unless disembarking. Okay. An adventurous set of passengers have arrived. Find them and make the train jump five times before taking them to the station. Well. Okay. Are they on the top of one of these? I bet you they're on the top of one of these things. Yeah, there they are. Up there at the top of this cabinet here. Okay, well that's spicy actually. That's, that's spicy. How the heck do we, how the heck do we do that? I mean, this is significantly out of the way. Uh, even at the best of times. Hmm. Okay, I like this challenge, though. This is a good, this is a good challenge. This is a good challenge. Let's, let's take a branch from here. Okay. I mean... How the heck jumping is supposed to work? I have absolutely no idea. I'm gonna assume that jumping kind of works like this. So if we do if we do this repeatedly, right? Like this will this will allow us to. Okay, here's 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 an idea. Here's an idea. So let's just build a whole bunch of. A bunch of bits like that and then every other bit of track I'm gonna just replace there we go just like that is that is that cheating a little bit I feel like it's it's not like that's the point right you're supposed to make a jump so that's one two three jumps man oh man oh man I would not like to I would not like to take this journey uh, let's go this way then let's sink it back down and then delete that bit Go back. So that's one jump, two jump, three jump, four jump here. Ditch that. Five jump. Excellent. If we need to deliver, like, normal passengers from up at the top here, I suspect that normal passengers probably will not take too kindly to having to uh, go over a couple of jumps before getting to their destination. Uh, can I place a corkscrew? I did see a corkscrew here. I don't know if that's possible, though. A corkscrew is entirely possible. Okay, a corkscrew for the purposes of elevating myself. Is that, uh... Is that a thing that I can do? Is that, uh... Is that a possibility? I mean, it looks good, to be honest. It actually looks really, really good. Okay. Uh, maybe we're not going to be able to go up. But we can almost certainly come down. Uh, paintings do present... Uh, a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. Yeah, we can always we can always move this across if uh, if needs be. That's fine. Okay, straight and then around. And then we will get ourselves a platform. It's looking good. And that actually works pretty darn well. These climbers, they better be, they better be happy. I tell you what, should I try and do like an epic, an epic, an epic jump? What if I just do this? What if I just do this and let, let the train fall all the way down? <laughs> I feel like I should absolutely try that, right? Like that is a surefire way to de-elevate the train very, very swiftly. 
Whether it manages to make it, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay, let's toot toot. Let's go and get these. Let's go and get these uh, climbers. What they wanna? What they wanna do? Okay, jump. Crowd goes wild. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So the only. The only problem there, the only problem there was that we actually entered the corkscrew too fast. That was the only problem. Legitimately the only problem. I'm actually surprised that it worked that well. Yeah, let me take this back. Uh... Here's what I'd like to do instead. I want to see if I can get this bit. I want to make... We need to get another jump. We need to get another jump somewhere. Why don't we just put it up at the top here? Yeah, I mean, that's entirely reasonable. Yeah, that's entirely reasonable. Cool. Alright. Nice. Alright, train driving modes... Uh, if I go into train driving mode, I'm gonna have to manage to get the train moved onto the climbing junction over there. Which I might find it a little bit difficult to do under the circumstances. Handbrake. Cool. Okay. So, let's ditch this. That goes straight through there, and then that goes in there instead. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. A little bit more usable as well. Usually, the train shouldn't be facing in a reverse direction. It should be facing forwards. Okay. I guess since we've already achieved the mission, there's no need to do it again. Either way, corkscrew, toot toot, seems to be working pretty, pretty darn fantastically. Uh, okay, the corkscrew does not seem to be working pretty darn fantastically. Uh, the paintings have, have, have cream crackered my attempt to make this work. Uh, I tell you what, that train might just spit back out to... Yeah, it might just spit you back out onto the track previously. Oh, that almost worked shockingly well. Okay. Hit me with a reset there. Uh, clearly, we need to move this this corkscrew setup. But I think that the corkscrew setup is our best way to elevate quickly. So we'll just do it over here. We'll just do it over here. It's literally that simple. Uh, yep. Corkscrew. Corkscrew. Don't ask me how the train has the torque to get up to get up this thing, I have no idea. It shouldn't be possible, and yet it is. Excellent. And we drag a bit of track right over yonder. Excellent. Delete that track. Delete that track. You want to go straight, don't you? Video game. You do. Yeah, you don't want to... You don't want to go off to the side. I also can't change the junction stats for this. That's not the end of the world. Okay. Let's freaking go. Full speed ahead. Let's go and rescue these climbers. It's about it's about gosh darn time. I didn't expect the pesky climbers to be the biggest problem here. Kind of expected it to be kind of expected it to be business people to be honest with you. The crowd only goes wild once apparently. How did we how did we do that one up? Was I just going too fast? All right, clearly I need to I need to slow down a little bit. The other thing that we need to consider, we haven't even tested the big jump yet. We haven't even tested the big freaking jump at the end. Okay, let's let's take our uh, our foot off the gas a little bit here. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Just sailed right past that even though I was clearly in uh, in left mode. Okay, so right first. There we go. Excellent. Then we want to hold left. Hold left. Excellent. And then we want to continue to hold left so that we go down this track here. Absolutely holding left. We just want to dribble off the end there. 
Slow down a little bit more. Brilliant. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Let's continue to come. That's right, toot toot. Let's continue to, to head up here. Good stuff. Excellent. That's looking great. Uh, we need to make sure that we are holding right when we get to the top. We can go a little bit. We can go a little bit faster. Toot toot. That was a little toot toot though. Also, there's a there's a hole in the track up there. Uh, yes, there is a hole in the track up there, Potato, because it's a jump that you created specifically to fulfill a requirement which is no longer required. Nailed it. Okay. Nope. A little bit further forward. Really showing the lack of my train driving uh, skills right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't dribble off the edge. Don't dribble off the edge backwards. Okay. Now, I hope you're all ready, folks. I hope you're all ready for this absolutely insane, insane, terrible jump. Uh, can I maybe recognize the occasion by sticking down a signpost or something? Speed clock. Why don't we put a, can we put a firework down here? Can we put a firework down here? I don't know how fireworks work. Do they just blast off? Okay, all right. <laughs> That's not really what I was going for. Uh, maybe we get some boxes. Nice. Okay, excellent. Yeah, let's get some boxes. Let's... All right, that didn't really... Didn't really work out how I wanted it to. Um, I, I guess kind of did. Okay, so clearly we need... We need something... We need something to make this... To make this look cool. We need, we don't need a buffer stop. Passenger carriage, cargo carriage, track support. No, 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 None of that stuff. Speed check? Yeah, let's get a speed check. Yeah. So speed check. We want to link the speed check. Okay, speed check is ready. Hopefully we don't collide with it. That's going to be, I mean, omega embarrassing. What about... I mean, in an ideal world, in an ideal world, we just need, I know what we need. We need a bit of ground. Give me a, uh, give me a mountainous block. Oh, that's a bit, okay, that's a bit big. That's a bit big. That's a bit big. Give me a grass block. Give me a grass block. Throw the glass, uh, the grass block in there. Excellent. Get rid of that. Then we have some boxes here. So here's the plan, right? Here's the plan. Is that going to stand? It's gonna stand, it's not gonna fall. We're gonna go flying off the edge here. We're gonna go flying off the edge here. It's gonna be magic, it's gonna be fantastic, and we're gonna take the climbers with us, and it's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, are you ready for this, everyone? Let's freaking go. Alright, let's let's go. Gas, gas, gas. I wanna step on the gas. Okay. Our speed check. Our speed. Our speed check repelled... Our speed check repelled the train. Alright, that's my B. Okay, go for... Go, you know, reverse a little bit. We need to build up a little bit of speed. Toot toot. Yeah, yeah, I know. Toot toot. We're gonna go smashing through those boxes. We're gonna... We're gonna make the climbers regret asking for some jumps on their... On the stupid journey up here. Alright. Handbrake on. Accelerator. Up. Up, 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 up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hop out the vehicle for a nice little overview. Boom! We did it! <laughs> we did it! We're going far too fast. <laughs> we overshot by, by a pretty significant amount. Uh, I've been applying the handbrake for the last wee while. But that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Holy cow. Oh, wow. I, I, I think that these climbers may... They may not wish to, uh, they may not wish to remain climbers for long. Hopefully I've scared a little bit of sense into them. Oh boy, that was, that was enjoyable actually. Just goes to show what you can do with a little bit of, oh, there's some debris on the, on the track. Gonna slow right down just to make sure that we go, don't get derailed by it. Because it is simulated, I believe. So it could maybe present us with a little bit of a problem. But that's okay. The climbers will eventually get to their destination in one piece. Toot toot. There we go. 
please disembark. It's been a pleasure carrying you on the, on the Orbital Express today. All right, what do we got next? We have some plain customers. We've got a farmer and we've got a doctor. Just one farmer and one doctor. They're all over here. Um, do we need to deliver them to a specific station? I suspect that we don't. I suspect that we just need to go to the plane station. I mean, to be brutally honest, like, that's not, that's not difficult, is it? That's not difficult at all. That's not difficult at all. We're actually, like, almost freaking done with this passenger delivery system. Uh, wedding station? What the heck is a wedding station? Any wedding passengers can be taken here? I'm pretty sure that we just need a regular platform. There we go. Cool. Right, so what's the route? What's the route here? Do I just want to reuse? I think I kind of just want to reuse this route, to be honest. Yeah. And then we can probably just be really cheeky. And let's go into alt mode. There we go. Let's go up. And you know what? I'm, I'm doubling down. I'm doubling down on the... On, on using elevation to my advantage. A hundred percent. That's, that's kind of cool. Okay, so this is a little bit weird because I did say that I wasn't going to reuse the, uh, the route that we take to get to the climbers because it was, that was, it was very, very hairy and very, very scary. But I'm going to reuse the route that we use to get to the climbers. Okay. Take the foot off the gas a little bit. Make sure that we stick left. Don't derail on the way over here, please. Nailed it. Stick, uh, stick over here. Slow right down. Handbrake. Easy. Oh, that was too easy. Okay. What's the difference between a farmer and a doctor? Or a plane passenger, for that matter? Especially if they just need to go to the same place? Who knows? Either way. Let's do it. Stick right. Stick left. Trickle off the ends. Nailed it. Handbrake. Uh, didn't didn't hit the first carriage, but that was shockingly close to actually being perfectly executed passenger delivery. That was that was pretty good actually. That was pretty good. I like that little route there. Okay, we got some firefighters now that need to presumably be delivered to the normal station as well. Aha! They're on the floor over here. So this is going to be our lowest. This is going to be our lowest passenger delivery. They look cool, actually. They look cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Right. Let's grab the platform. Stick it there. Sure. In fact, I think it might be possible for us to just... Yeah. We'll do something like this. In fact, what about a corkscrew again? I actually kind of rated the corkscrew quite, uh, quite a lot. Can we... Slight problem here. Slight problem here. How do I place it? How do I place it to connect to the top of the corkscrew? All right, corkscrew, corkscrew's off the table. Corkscrew's off the table. We're just gonna have to de-elevate normally. Let's de-elevate this way. Yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? That's a stupid move, potato. That'll work. Brilliant. So, where do we want to reconnect up to? To be honest, we could just keep it. We could just keep it at ground level here. We could keep it at ground level and join up to the uh, the underside of the TV cabinet over there. If we're gonna do that, why don't we see if we can throw down some grass blocks and create, you know, a little bit of a nice route. Given that this is, as I suspect, our last passenger delivery, might as well make it look reasonably nice. Maybe see if we can create a little bit of a, a community down here. There we go. A community of well-wishers, perhaps. Excellent. Then we will grab... Yeah, we'll just grab some random houses. Sure. Look at that. Oh, man, that looks good. 
that looks that looks so nice. That looks so unbelievably nice. Cool. Alright. Yeah, we can grab some walls as well. I mean it doesn't look perfect, but like, yeah, look, this is this is a hastily assembled. A hastily assembled uh, town. We get a fountain. Right in there. Look at that. Okay. Post van. And you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a road that runs this way. Excellent. Uh, excuse me. Didn't mean to do that. That's okay. We can replace that block reasonably easily. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, now, we should just be able to drag the track around in this direction. And that's right. We're going straight through the center of town. Oh, look at that. A level crossing as well. One slight problem that I have just realized. Um, the post van... As much as I do indeed like it, uh, really shouldn't be, really shouldn't be there. It should be on the road. Rail crossing. Uh, sure. You can stick a rail crossing signal in there. Level crossing. I don't, I don't even know what type of signal is appropriate for this instance. I'm just throwing down, I'm just throwing down what I feel is, is cool looking. Let's have some boxes. Boxes are definitely cool. Boxes in the center of town? Yes, please. A thousand times, yes, please. There we go. Looking good. Uh, where'd my post van go? Oh yeah, I didn't place it back. I need, I need cars. I'm getting a little bit carried away here. What if I place the post van altogether too close to the level crossing? Okay, we can maybe create a scene here where the where the police cars are are hot on the heels of the post van which is which is not respecting which is not respecting the amount of distance that you need to give the level crossing. Uh, we'll also have an ambulance here. We'll also have an ambulance here so that if the postie does indeed get clobbered by the train, we can make sure that that there is an appropriate response to, to help him out. Fire truck? Sure, we can have a, a, a fire truck that is by happenstance driving away from the from the scene of the the crime to come. Alright, the boxes have fallen down, but that's not a problem. Either way, I think that's I think that's enough lore for today, eh? I'm pretty happy with that. Wonderful. That looks brilliant. Looks really, really nice. Uh, that needs to get changed to that. Cool, so I think that we should just be able to sort of just drive this thing all the way to the finish line now. That's set to work. Yeah, okay. Let's reset the train. Let's reset the train. Let's drive it out a little bit. Because... I can't even remember where we are supposed to go. This way? I think it's this way. This way down here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have I doofed this up completely? How do we get down to the firefighter zone? Right. Uh, okay, well I can do... I can do some shenanigans here. I wouldn't advise this, but you can... You can, uh... You can reverse. Is this the right way to reverse? No, it's the wrong way to reverse. Okay, excellent. Well played, potato. Okay, we want to be reversing in that way. Cool. No, okay, maybe reversing maybe reversing is strictly prohibited. Okay. Uh I tell you what, this gives us a good opportunity, perhaps, to trash that. Trash that. No no, no. train, 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 train. Handbrake. There we go. Excellent. Uh, this maybe gives us the perfect opportunity to see if we can fit a turntable in here. I did see that a turntable was an option. 
However, you may not have the space. It does actually look like it fits, doesn't it? That does look pretty blooming good. Slight problem, though. Slight problem. I don't think it is gonna fit. Either way, that's the turntable right there. You know what? Just give me the just give me the piece, the uh, that piece, that that one right there. Cool. Uh, let's change the directionality of the signals. Let's go again. Stick left. Okay, cool. Well, I'm looking forward to driving through this this crime scene to be. Okay. Hand braked a little bit too early there, but that's fine. <laughs> toot toot, just for embarrassment. Okay. Firefighters. Please get on board. There we go. Excellent. Wowzers. These are some mustaches, that's for sure. All right, let's drive. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. This is a lovely little vista that we've created up here. Toot toot. Toot toot. Toot toot toot. Okay. Oh no, the posty. We'll never know what happened to him. Smash through the bricks in the town center. We didn't really get to look at the houses because we were going a smidgen too fast, but that's okay. Oh, mind your heads. Mind your heads, everyone. Mind your heads, everyone. Um, terrible driver coming through. All right, as it turns out, I'm just bad at driving trains. Who'd have thunk it? Who the heck would have thunk it, eh? Either way, this makes our this makes our journey a little bit easier. It looks like if you're in manual control mode, uh, the the junctions don't do don't do jack. Uh, the changing the junctions doesn't doesn't matter. So you just have to, you just have to still turn anyway. Cool. And slow down to a stop. Bada bim, bada boom. That is the firefighters successfully delivered. Congratulations, you finished all the stages of in this environment. You can continue playing with passengers appearing randomly around the room. Thank you. New passenger stage unlocked. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. That was cool. That was really, really cool. Um, I think that we're going to wrap that up, um, ladies and gents. This was, you know, never really meant to be a, a, a super in-depth strategy game. But it's a nifty little sandbox environment game that has got a lot of trains. And I like trains. And so I thought, you know what? We'd, uh, we'd showcase this game on the channel today because what the heck, right? I mean, we got some pretty cool jumps. Uh, we almost flipped over. Uh, we had fireworks. We had corkscrews. We had the whole shebang. It was a it was a time that we had. It was a good time that we had. Uh, you can check out the game. Link down in the description down below. Thank you as ever to all the fantastic support over on the Patreon page. Patreon.com forward slash open potato. Thanks to Aurelio, Banana Nanana, and C Senpai for being the three twenty-five dollar tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.